Hey everybody, this is Van from Gigabyte. It's been a while since our last video, but today I'm excited to bring you guys our latest and most exciting product, the Aorus RX580 Extreme Edition. I'm going to be giving you guys an overview of this card as well as compare it to last generation's RX480. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so in my hands right here, I have the Aorus RX580 Extreme Edition. So, for 2017, what's changed with the RX 500 series? And how does it compare to our older RX 480? Well, I have a 480 right here. This is the old uh, Gigabyte 480 G1 Gaming. And let's take a look at all the improvements that we've made for this generation's card. All right, let's talk about cooling performance. On the front of the card here, we have our WinForce cooling technology. And by now, this is a staple of Gigabyte. We've used this cooling technology for many years now, and it's a well-proven design. Taking a look at the side profile, you can see we've made this card a lot beefier. The heat sink on this card is much bigger compared to last generation's RX 480. Uh, to a thickness side-by-side -side comparison. And the reason why this is, is because Again, we added more heat pipes into here. We've beefed up our heat sink design. There's more fins that run along the car and it extends past the PCB itself. And what this means is that you should expect lower temperatures compared to last year's RX 480. And the improvements don't stop there. Let's move on to the back. You can see for 2017, we've added a new backplate. And the interesting thing here is that we have a copper pad that cools the rear of the GPU. So this pad right here in conjunction with the WinForce cooling fans and improved heatsink means you're getting a all around cooling solution, which should dramatically improve the cooling performance of your RX 580 Extreme Edition. And of course, for this year's RX 580 Extreme Edition, you're gonna see better performance compared to last year's RX 480. You're getting better clock speeds out of the box, as well as a higher OC potential if you guys are into overclocking. Oh, and along the lines of performance, we've also completely revamped our software. So gone is the extreme engine utility. We've replaced that with the Aorus Graphics Engine. And with Aorus Graphics Engine, you can customize the uh, GPU boost clocks, uh, voltage, fan speeds, set power, as well as temperature targets and you can monitor uh, your temperatures for your card. So if you're planning to pick up one of these cards, be sure to check out the Aorus Graphics Engine on Aorus.com. So that wraps up today's video. If you guys are interested in seeing more of this kind of content, or if you guys want to see benchmarks, uh, leave me a comment down below. And um, thank you guys for watching. My name is Van from Gigabyte, and I'll see you guys later.